Hey, what's up everyone? This is Madden5. Um, my last video actually got a lot of hate, um, which I'm not going to get too much on that, but uh, it did kind of prove my point about certain left-wingers, you know, as soon as something like they don't like happens, you know, oh, oh, okay, fuck that guy. So I lost some subscribers from that last video, but, you know, what can you do, you know? It's one of those things, you know, I don't fucking care. Like I said, I'm not going to talk too much about that. Um, I've been drinking a little bit, so if I'm slurring my words, I'm sorry. And, and by the way, this is probably going to turn into a long video if you couldn't tell by the time on it. But anyway, this is a subject I've wanted to talk about for a while. And I, I think I, I, I know I, I've done at least one video in the past um, that didn't turn out the way I wanted it to about this subject. Um, and I've kind of hinted at it in other fucking videos. But uh, this is going to be about Satanism, and I think I'm just going to title this Satanism. Um, there's a user that subscribed to me by the name of Mr. The Reptilian 96 and I believe he's been a subscriber of mine for a while now. You know, I recall reading um, a few comments from him, and we started talking through PMs. Um, I believe we started out talking about my video um, that I did filling in for Imaj Yuna on Dipshit of the Week for... Um, I forget which week it was, but uh, I was talking about the original Savage Chick. But we start talking about um, Satanism. And this is a subject that has interested him uh, for a while. Unfortunately, his mom does not uh, want him reading the Satanic Bible. And, you know, we've been talking back and forth about that. And I'm going to get more into this as the video goes. And also, I'm going to be throwing in, like, some of my disagreements with Satanism, some uh, misconceptions uh, people have about Satanism and Satanists. Um, but this is completely unscripted, so I hope, you know, I kind of, um, I, I hope it's, you know, it, it makes sense. Um, so first off, um, he was saying, like, you know, his mom doesn't want to read this. Now, he told me some stuff about his mom, like, you know, she had, um, read about, uh, Wiccanism, uh, er earlier in her life, and I guess now she's like, you know, she's Roman Catholic, but, uh, you know, she's very open to science, but she just does not want him to read about Satanism, which kind of fucks me up. Because, number one, um, y what you looked into Wiccanism, okay, so that's okay, but you don't want your kids to look into something else? And what is it, like, your Christine O'Donnell? You know, what, oh, oh, you dabbled in Wiccanism? No, it, you can read about certain subjects without necessarily believing it. You know, I mean, because m I myself, I've read, you know, the Bible, I've read all of Anton LaVey's books, I've read most of the Quran, uh, the Kabbalah, Dianetics, I've read a lot about Greek mythology, um, I've even read Mein Kampf. That doesn't mean that I necessarily fucking believe this shit. I just wanted to read it to see what it's about. It, because like I've said in the past, I've been an atheist since I was five. So I've been an atheist for a long fucking time, long time. Uh, but I just, I want to know what they believed. And, you know, to me, that's knowledge. You know, because if you're going to be talking to someone who does believe in this shit, at least have you know, a little bit of knowledge. You don't have to be a scholar with this shit. You know, you don't have to know every little single facet of that belief system to be able to hold your own. Whether this is a discussion or a debate, etc. So to me, it's all about just knowing what other people fucking believe. Now, the first misconception that most people have with Satanism, I've even met some atheists who have this misconception, which I thought they, of all people, you know, should have read the Satanic Bible. They shouldn't be afraid of this, is that Satanism is about devil worship. And it's not. Um, now, there are, in all fairness, there are some theistic Satanists out there uh, that actually believe that Satan is a being and they worship him, like somehow he's going to, you know, in, in context of Christianity or even Judaism, um, somehow he's going to do something for them, which is fucking bullshit. To me, it's, it, you know, you, you might as well just be a fucking Christian. Instead, you know, you're just basically choosing the losing side instead of choosing within the context of Christianity, the winning side. So you believe in Christ you know, at most, or, you know, you believe in God. Okay, well, if it's God, he's gonna fucking be the ultimate winner. So, you know, it's fucking stupid. But, most Satanists do not believe that Satan actually exists as a being. He doesn't. Um, Anton LaVey basically explained it like this. When he was playing, 
um, at carnivals and stuff, he would see these men drooling over these women in, like, burlesque shows and shit. And then, on Sunday, he'd see those same fucking men repenting on Sunday. And he said, well, that's fucking hypocritical. Why should you be ashamed of that? Yeah, you're looking at an attractive woman. Why is that a bad thing? You know, people are attracted to, you know, whatever sex they're attracted to. Is that a bad thing? No. We just are, we're visual fucking creatures. You know, you shouldn't, you know, be ashamed of that. And basically, he just, some people say he plagiarized, which I seriously doubt he fucking did. He may have taken elements from some things, which that's going to come into play later. But I don't think he plagiarized, but he was basically saying, like, Satan represents the opposite of this. Christianity represents, like, oppression. You know, oh, you're bad. You're a fucked up person. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, if you look at another woman in lust, you've committed adultery in your heart. Okay, well, first off, your fucking heart is a muscle that pumps blood, which is, you know, beyond the fucking point. But I didn't do anything. That's my natural fucking instincts. That's what nature basically told me to fucking do. There's no way to control that. Well, you should feel bad about that. Well, Satan represents the opposite of that. Satan is a symbol. Satan represents the complete opposite. No, lust, that's the way you fucking are. Why should you fucking be made to feel bad about that? That's how other animals are. They look at some. I want to fuck that. There you go. That's not a bad thing. Now, there's another big misconception, and that deals with uh, rituals. And it, it seems like people, instead of like actually reading, you know, getting it from the horse's fucking mouth, what satanic rituals are all about, they decide to listen to a lot of fucking hack doctors, uh, psychiatrists, psychologists, who just want to make a fucking name for themselves. They just want to make fucking money. They want to publish a book. Uh, there are a few, and I'm probably forgetting the titles, and I've read a few of them, like, uh, how Satanism is ruining youth, or some shit like that, um, where they're, they have these supposed fucking patients, which this truth serum, basically what you do is you're putting thoughts into their fucking head, and you're making them believe that something happened that really didn't. Now, in all fairness about that, um, there have been uh, satanic rituals, satanic, uh, that have taken place where these fucking idiots have sacrificed animals, or sometimes, you know, kids have died. But most of the time, you know, these fuckers are caught. Uh, but this is against Satanism. Now, there are a couple of fucking things you can read. Now, number one, the Satanic Bible. Uh, it basically outlines a ritual. Now, with the exception of the naked woman at the altar, there's nothing really fucking objectionable about it. And, in fact, Anton LaVey, I mean, it's kind of weird because in some ways he says magic does work but in other ways it doesn't and it's more about expressing yourself and that was the way i fucking viewed it when i you know consider myself a satanist um in a way i kind of wanted magic to fucking work for me but it never fucking did but beyond the point but there was no sacrifice involved i didn't have to fucking cut my hand open and you know, drop blood into, you know, some fucking flames or anything like that. And it's more about just expressing something, you know, getting together in a group. And when I did do rituals, it did make you feel cool. You know, it, not like, oh, these people are going to think I'm cool. It just, it felt good. You know, it was a way of just letting some shit out. You know, it was basically like bitching without bitching, which I, I'm guessing most of you know I'm a big fan of bitching. But Anton LaVey even wrote in his books, you know, don't hurt, you know, some of the sins in Satanism are don't hurt animals. In fact, I think it's part of the same sin, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't read it in so fucking long. Uh, but don't hurt animals. Uh, don't hurt small children. Don't hurt animals unless, like, you're protecting yourself or, you know, you're killing it for your food, which obviously I disagree with. Um, anyhow, so Satanism was basically, um, in my eyes... Atheism with a darker twist. You know, there there, were, there was, like, kind of a dogma to follow in a way, but it wasn't really, like, anything that was that bad. I mean, it wasn't anything stupid. You know, like, only be kind to those who deserve it. If someone is just taking advantage of you, fuck them. Psychic vampires, as they're called. Fuck them. Why should you be nice to them? They're only going to take advantage of you. 
Um, you know, show love to the people who really fucking deserve it. Don't hurt people that don't deserve to be fucking hurt. Um, and another thing, you know, which there was one situation that I can remember. It didn't like happen to me, which I'm going to bring up a couple other situations after this, but in the Bill Maher movie, Religious, which I mean, there are mistakes in that movie, but there was the one he went to like some kind of trucker church. One of these guys said, I was a Satanist priest, which it, that guy is fucking lucky I wasn't there. I wasn't the one doing the interview because I would have fucking called his ass on so much fucking shit he said. First off, they didn't call themselves Satanist priests. They don't call themselves Satanist priests. They call themselves Satanic priests. But he's saying, oh, I was running hookers and, you know, had all these drugs and I had a water cash. Bull fucking shit. Drugs? Okay, well, that's against Satanism. Satan represents vital existence rather than spiritual pipe dreams. Okay, well, yeah, that's drugs right there. Yeah, you can drink some, but to basically just do drugs to have a fucking spiritual pipe dream, that's against Satanism. They say they would rather your your mind be unclouded than clouded. There you go. They would much rather you be intelligent and fucking look at things and read and learn rather than do some fucking stupid drugs to get to know God or something like that. It's dumb. It's a spiritual fucking pipe dream. So that guy's a fucking idiot. And while we're on that topic, there are a lot of fucking idiots out there who they say, oh, I was involved in, you know, satanic rituals and, you know, we sacrifice babies. Okay, again, this whole, like, uh, satanist baby killing thing, yeah, there have been a couple cases where that shit has fucking happened. But for the most part, no. It hasn't. Wouldn't there be a huge amount of fucking missing children? And, you know, they probably would have found bodies, too. And been able to link it to these groups. No, there are. In fact, there have been investigations which have shown, no, didn't fucking happen. They weren't doing that. And, yeah, again, if you're a Satanist, you're not going to be partaking in this kind of fucking shit, now are you? No, it's against fucking Satanism. You don't hurt little children. Which, one thing that I definitely disagree with Anton LaVey on is, if you read some of his writings, he he's basically, he was basically pro-life. Uh, I believe he said something along the lines of, uh, why should you abort a child who had no fucking choice? Why should you kill that fucking child when instead you should just be aborting the mother who got knocked up in the first place? Which I disagree with that. But this video is not going to be about the merits of, you know, the pro-life versus pro-choice argument, so we're not getting on that, but, you know, anyway, there, there are always these assholes like, I used to be a Satanist, oh yeah, just like all the Christians, who try to empathize with atheists, like, I used to be an atheist too, yeah, just like when I was younger, before I can grow facial hair, and I used to wear my hair down all the time, some people mistake me as a girl, and then, oh, well, I used to have long hair, it used to be like down here, oh, yeah, you did, didn't you? Bull fucking shit. You're just making shit up. You're just trying to, like, say, see, I was like you at one point. No, you weren't. You're fucking full of shit. And if I asked you some basic fucking knowledge, you wouldn't know a goddamn fucking thing. So, go fuck yourself on that one. So, anyway. Um, to me, Satanism, it, it's worth reading into. I mean, read it. Who cares? Read the Satanic Bible. And I think it's fucked up that this guy's mom won't, you know, let him fucking read it. Who cares? It's a fucking book. The most that's going to happen is you're going to believe in Satanism. And Satanism, it, like I said, it's just atheism with a darker twist. You basically just, you know, you say you're fucking responsible for your mistakes or your accomplishments. You know, it's, it's up to you. Don't blame anyone else. You know, it's all about you are your own fucking God. You yourself. You are your God. Because you have to fucking look at yourself in the fucking mirror every goddamn day. And if you fuck up, that is on you. Don't blame your parents. Don't blame society. No, that's you. You know, yeah, you may fuck up, but is the rest of society fucking up in the same way? Probably not. Are your parents doing the same shit? No. Most likely not. Don't blame them. You, you blame your fucking self. It's all about you blame yourself for your fuck-ups, and you learn. If you do good, great. 
And, I mean, that, that is one of the main tenets that I really got behind. You know, like, yeah, you are responsible. You know, in, in Satanism, some Satanists, and I've heard this, and I think this is complete fucking bullshit, that um, the certain things are real. Because in their, in their mind, it's real. No, that's bullshit. Again, that goes back, back to the spiritual fucking pipe dreams thing. I don't believe in a fucking afterlife, and that's one of the reasons I got into this. Because, yes, if you don't believe in an afterlife, then this is all you fucking have. Make the best of it. Live or just fucking kill yourself. So, yeah, that's great. However, that being said, Satanism has a few flaws, like most, you know, religious dogmas, because, I mean, Satanism is a fucking religion. Even the fucking United States military recognizes it as such. I mean, but that being said, you know, they, you know, a lot of um, servicemen apparently have registered themselves as Jedi. That's their religion, which... I mean, I think that kind of fucks with the whole religious ideology thing. But anyway, um, there are some reports of Anton LaVey um, from his daughter, which whether they're true or not, we don't know. But uh, he was known for having like exotic animals. Like his daughter said, she came down um, downstairs one day and I think it was the, the, um, the panther they had. Uh, he was basically beating the fuck out of this thing. And saying, like, well, he's not obeying me. I'm going to force him to fucking obey me. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. And to me, that's very hypocritical. It's like, don't harm an animal. I, I didn't really hold that against the satanic principle. But if it is true, that's fucked up. But the one of the biggest things is LaVey was much more, like, libertarian. Which didn't really jive well with my whole liberalism thing. Uh, which... Uh, Satanism has a lot to do with uh, Randian type uh, philosophy where it's uh, you are an individual who should not have to rely on anyone else, which kind of brings me to the whole naturalistic thing, you know, like Satanism, it talks about nature. Um, humans did not evolve as individuals. We worked as a group, you know, as individuals, we kind of suck. You know, we don't have very good bodies. We don't have a lot of weapons at our disposal. But as a group, we worked, you know, great. You know, we were able to accomplish a lot of shit. And to me, that that's if that's a real contradiction, especially when he's talking about, like, lycanthropic um, transformation. You know, that's purely symbolic. It's like going back to, like, man's bestial state, um, which kind of... You know, if you read that essay he wrote, I believe it's in the Devil's Notebook. I, I believe that essay was banned in certain areas. But, you know, it's like talking about, you know, kill something for your fucking food. Uh, if there's a woman, you know, basically just rape her because that's your... And I know it's not like saying, go and rape that bitch or anything like that. But it's like, yeah, that's your bestial fucking side. But to me, it's like, well, that's doing harm when it's not necessary which goes against Satanist dogma, I guess you can say. Um, but, you know, the whole nature thing, you know, it's a, to me, it just, there's a lot of the shit, you know, with Randian objectivism, you really have to go against this whole natural argument. Because, again, humans evolved as groups. And I'm definitely not a libertarian. I know LaVey was much more right-wing than I am. And the more I started, like, really thinking about it, because I got really into Satanism, um, starting from the time I was about 13, and I really started to, like, realize that my belief systems did not jive well with it when I was about 20, you know, because it's like, well, God damn it, you know, like, this shit makes sense in a certain way, but in other ways, it doesn't make sense to me, and that's why I don't consider myself a Satanist. Now, I mean, I, you know, when I look back on it, you know, it's kind of like when um, Christopher Hitchens in uh, God is Not Great, he was talking about... He used to be a communist, and, like, sometimes he looks back on those times, like, yeah, that was, you know, like, I kind of want to go back to that, but it's like, well, no, I don't, because of this and this and this. To me, it's the same fucking way. It's like, yeah, it was great at the time, and it made sense at the time, but now, it doesn't, because I've, you know, evolved as a person, you know, I've read a lot more things, and I've developed more as a person, so, you know, it just, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me to believe certain things 
But, you know, I will defend Satanism, you know, pretty heavily, because most of the people that argue against it have no fucking clue what they're talking about, and I don't think it's a terrible fucking philosophy to have. I don't think it's a bad thing to research and to read, you know, LaVey's books. Um, you know, especially when it comes to, like, the Satanic Bible, which I recommend, um, if anyone's interested, I recommend reading The Devil's Notebook first, then the Satanic Bible, and if you're really interested in, like, the rituals, read the Satanic Rituals. Um, I guess I was lucky. I have, I was able to obtain a first edition copy of the Satanic Rituals, and... I mean, you can, you know, go beyond that. The Satanic Witch, Satan Speaks, which was a good book. And in fact, it was really funny, too. Um, you could read The Secret Life of the Satanist, the Church of, the Church of Satan. And I believe that's all, unless people consider it the complete witch, which basically just became the Satanic Witch. But, um, you know, when it comes to Satanism, I, I do have kind of a soft spot for it. And... You know, it, it was a, a topic for a long time that really interested me, and I was really into it. But the more I talked to other um, Satanists, the more I talked to people that you know knew a lot about it, the more I realized I'm really not into this. You know, it doesn't really connect with me the way I thought it did. That being said, you know, it, it's definitely something people should check out. And instead of just going by what the church says, or what these people fucking say, or what those people say, you know, base it on what you think after you read these books. If you just read the Satanic Bible and you don't agree, fine. In fact, my aunt, um, my cousin, her, his, ugh, her son got it from the library. She went and picked it up. I guess, like, the librarians are, like, shocked, like, are you sure this is it? Well, I don't know, and whatever he got. I mean, I'm just here to pick it up. She said she looked through it. She's a Christian, by the way. And she was like, I didn't really see anything that bad in it. It's like, yeah, I don't agree, but it's, it's just a book. You know, I mean, I've read Mein Kampf, which is probably one of the most horrible books you can ever read. Not because it's, not because of just the message, but more because it's just that poorly written. But... You know, it's, again, it's like, it's just knowledge. You're just learning about something. Who gives a fuck? You know, that's like saying, you know, don't read The Rise and Fall of the Third Reich because, you know, you might become a Nazi. Well, you might. Does that mean you're going to exterminate Jews? No. It just means, you. I guess, you became a Nazi. Just like with Satanism. You know, you might become a Satanist. You may not. Who cares? But anyway... I hope this video made some fucking sense. And like I said, I've wanted to talk about the subject for a while. Um, just the videos never came out the way I wanted them to. And I'm just going to say fuck it on this one. I don't care. It's just, it's about time I make a fucking video and actually publish the motherfucker on this. So, uh, this is Madden 5 and I'll see you guys next video.